Let's take a look at how to print a drawing to a PDF. So you have your file, your .kbf file, and you're ready to save it as a PDF. The easiest way to do that is to print it as a PDF. So what you would do is you would go to File, and then you're going to go down to Print, and I prefer to use Print Preview. It kind of combines page setup and print, so you can make some modifications, you can make some adjustments, and you actually get to see a preview of what you're printing prior to printing it, so it's an easy way to catch errors. So go ahead and click Print Preview. Now here, this is where you're going to choose Adobe PDF. It will probably populate, if you click this arrow, it will probably automatically populate with whatever printer you have set up with the computer. So, you know, if you have an HP printer hooked up to your computer, then that's probably what you're going to see as the default. So what you want to do is you want to use this little arrow and go down to Adobe PDF. That means when you print it, it will print out, technically save it as a .pdf file on your computer. So you want to make sure that says Adobe PDF. And then the next thing we need to do is we need to go into properties. All kitchen and bath drawings are set up at 11 by 17 inches. And we need to make sure that we are printing our PDF to that same size. So what you're going to do is you're going to go all the way over to the far left tab, layout, and go ahead and click that. Now this might default to portrait, okay? And as you know, all kitchen and bath drawings are landscape format, so we need to change that. So you can again use this drop down arrow to change it to landscape. Now we're in our horizontal landscape format, but we need to make sure that it's 11 by 17. It's probably going to default to 8.5 by 11 just based on the printer that you normally use. So what we're going to do is we're going to click this advanced tab. And here you'll see paper size. Now, like I say, this might say, when you first look at it, it might say 8.5 by 11. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to use this drop down and find, you're going to have to scroll through here and find 11 by 17. Okay, so once you find 11 by 17, go ahead and click it. So now our paper size is correct. It's 11 by 17. We're in landscape format. The next tab is paper quality. Go ahead and click on that. Now you're not going to worry about the paper source because we're printing an electronic file. So that you can leave just the way it is. However, you might want to adjust the color or black and white. If you're printing a rendering, you will probably want it to be a color print. If you're just printing a line drawing for construction documents, you can go ahead and change that to black and white. Then under Adobe PDF settings, this is, should already be pretty much set up for you. You shouldn't have to adjust anything in here. So once you're done with those two tabs, layout and paper quality, you can click OK. Now the last thing we need to do is this print scale here. It will originally be set to fit to page. Now what that means is it's going to take your drawing and it's just going to size it however it needs to be sized to fit on the page. But as we know, kitchen and bath drawings are drawn at half inch equals a foot. So you want to change that from fit to page to ratio. Now when you see the ratio, it's going to originally say one inch equals a foot. So we need to change this based on our scale. So rather than one inch equals a foot, we are going to change it to half inch equals a foot. If you were doing quarter inch, you could change it to that, etc. But most kitchen and bath drawings are drawn at half inch. So we've changed this to half inch equals a foot. We've made sure it's landscape. We've made sure it's 11 by 17. So now we can click OK. And we're going to get a preview. This is why I like the print preview, because this gives you the opportunity to check and make sure everything is the way you want it. And if not, you can click close and go back to your print screen and change anything. So we're set up here at 11 by 17. It's in landscape format. 2020 automatically populates a title block along the bottom. And our drawing is properly done at half inch equals a foot. So like I say, if you notice any errors at this point, you would click close and then you would go back to the original screen and you could make adjustments. If you're happy with it, you can just go ahead and click apply. 
Once you have applied the changes, you can go ahead and click print, and you'll see that it saves it as a PDF file. You'll see here we have .pdf, and I would recommend, you can save that anywhere on your computer. I would recommend um, saving it in a spot where you'll easily remember where it went, so whether that's a desktop, whether you create a new folder on your desktop, um, wherever you'll remember where you put it. And then you can obviously name your file, whatever, um, whatever you want, if you want to name it. If this were for a class and you wanted to name it KB222 um, Week 1 Assignment 3, you could do that. And then once you have your um, file named what you want it, you can go ahead and click Save. And it will save your file to the destination that you have um, requested. So I hope this helps you as you print, um, print to PDF.